Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. There are so many ways to make mistakes stacking precious metals and today I'm going to be explaining some of these so you can avoid them. I personally have made almost all of these mistakes and they are very common. Just because silver stacking is a safe haven alternative to the dollar, it doesn't mean that there still isn't ways to lose money and sometimes even worse you know get scammed so today I want to start off with the beginner side of it and then we're gonna dive a little deeper into some mist mistakes that even more experienced stackers can do so or fall into so before we start make sure to smash that like button make sure you subscribe because I do post daily videos so I know how addicting it can be when you start in the world of precious metals you feel like you found something that no one else knows about and a lot of times you get so hyped up that you overspend so the first thing I recommend is starting off with a small budget and stick to it if this means every month only spend a hundred dollars maybe only buy five ounces a month stick to that because at first you really don't know which type of silver or gold that you that you like I mean it takes time to develop at first when I started I loved poured silver but after about a, a year or so of collecting poured silver I realized that I was more I was more fascinated and saw more potential and more value in the coin side of things so now I'm stuck with a lot of poured silver which obviously is still not a bad thing because silver is silver when it comes down to it but a lot of times you are going to have to play around and and figure out buy buy every buy a little bit of everything buy some slab coins well actually in the beginning I don't recommend that buy some you know some maple leaves buy some poured silver buy some constitutional silver and see which ones you like because you as a stacker will transform and you will start to like different things that's almost a guarantee I've never seen anyone in the beginning buy something their first try and just stick with simply that there's so so many diverse options and so many different types of silver out there I'm sure or more than likely you will start to like other stuff so make sure you budget and I did mention something this I kinda wanna dig a little deeper into uh, because figuring out which type of stacker you are is extremely important if you are in this for the long term if you're a long-term stacker then you're gonna be buying different types of silver than if you are a short-term or a quick flipper so it's extremely important and crucial to figure out which type of stacker you are so you can start buying the type of silver that fits that need or fits that category for example if you're a quick flipper you're not going to be buying coins like American Eagles or Maple Leafs because those coins are almost pegged to spot price so you're not going to be making any money quick flipping American Eagles. That's a long term preservation. That's a long haul coin. That's for people that are investing into silver for 10, 20, 30 years down the line. But if you are a quick flipper, coins like pandas, kookaburras, koalas, libertads, some stuff like that, those are the coins you want to be buying because they appreciate very fast over time and you can flip those so if you are a long long hauler or a, if you are a quick flipper and you're buying American Eagles you're setting yourself up for a very 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 rough time so figure out which type of stacker you're going to become and like I said with the other thing this might change over time as well maybe at first you're in it for the long haul but you realize you can make money in between so you do start collecting or stacking or flipping some of these higher premium coins especially as you start to understand how the markets work but in the beginning I definitely recommend just buying as much silver for as cheap as possible building a foundation stay grounded stay true to what you started out with or your mind state because it is easy to get distracted with some of these fancier coins and that is how you lose money that's with any investment that can go for stocks that can go for real estate that can go for anything distractions if there's a dollar to be made someone's going to be making it and you definitely want to be careful with that now another thing the next thing I want to go into is panic selling 
these markets go up and they go down. If it's going to go up, it has to go back down. Eventually, it's a correction. Corrections are healthy. You want there to be some dips, some sell-offs. That's a healthy market. That's just people capitalizing, selling some of their silver, taking some of the profits. But there's a difference between that and panic selling. Let's say silver is, you know, sitting around $18 and all of a sudden it drops to $17.15 or something. The likelihood of it going back up to $18 within the next couple months is almost guaranteed. But when people are so, so focused on the day-to-day -day prices, if it doesn't recover right away, they get in a panic-like state and sell because they think it's going to go all the way down to, to $5. Or It's a very catastrophic mind state, but I see it time and time again. You would think the motto of investing would be buy low, sell high right you buy it when it's low and you sell it after it appreciates most people even experienced investors buy high and sell low now why is this this is because when it's high when the price is high this is when there's the most uh, attention on it everyone's talking about it most people bought bitcoin when it was twenty thousand dollars not many people were buying bitcoin when it was eighteen hundred dollars like when i got into it and then they sold Bitcoin when it already had dropped all the way down to $5,000. That's a $15,000 margin. Most people buy it when, it's, when there's the hype around it, all the talk. So you don't want to, to buy into that. You don't want to fall into that. Make sure that you understand how these markets work. So if you are going to sell, I recommend having an emergency silver stash this is going to protect you from panic selling, but also try to take the emotional attachment out of the markets and look at the markets realistically. Because realistically, if you could look at that, say, the chance of it going back up is extremely high. There's no point to sell right now. And if you are going to sell, maybe only sell a very small portion. Don't sell your entire stack because then you have pegged yourself in at that price. So I do want to talk a little bit about holding because holding your silver and storing it is extremely important as well. Using tarnish strips, dehumidifiers, silica gel packs, having a safe, you know, stuff like that is going to be the difference between you making a lot of money and potentially losing a lot of money. You definitely need to store your silver correctly, whether that's capsules, you know, air tights. You can go to airtights.com, on fire guys, eBay page is a great place to buy capsules and capsule tubes, wearing gloves. And like the other things I mentioned for, you know, the dehumidifier to make sure there's no moisture in the air uh, or your silver has a higher potential of getting milk spotted. So that's really important because if you are leaving your coins out in the open and that coin gets a milk spot or whatever the case happens to it, if, even if it gets a smudge from your fingers, you won't have you won't be able to sell that coin for the premium you paid for it so if you're paying twenty nine dollars for a panda and it gets milk spotted you're gonna have to sell that panda for spot price it, or you might be able to get a couple more dollars for it on ebay but it's going to be extremely hard so you definitely want to keep your coins in pristine condition especially especially if you're buying high premium silver so that's another thing but i do want to go into buying because most people are going into these markets buying right well what if I told you that there's not one place that has the cheapest prices for everything? There's no Walmart of silver, of, of, of bullion. Atmex might have the best prices for pandas, but Provident Metals might have the best prices for kookaburras, and JM Bullion might have the best prices for maple leaves. So depending upon that, when you're going to buy, figure out exactly which type of silver or which coin you're going to buy and then shop around which has the lowest prices. Because if you're buying, if you're placing one order at all your silver for one place, there's a good chance that some of those coins are cheaper at another place. So if you can narrow it down to exactly which coins, you can definitely get some good prices, some good deals. The JM Bullion Starter Kit's a great thing. 10 ounces of silver at spot price. It's only one per household. But if you haven't bought that deal yet, I definitely recommend it. And the last thing I want to talk about is patience. Patience is so important. 
Because when people lack patience, that's when they make these impulsive decisions. Impulse buying and panic selling come into play. Emotional attachment runs high. And that's when people really, usually it's newer people, they call them weak hands. People that are early into the markets and quick to get out. If you gain patience in this market, you're almost guaranteed to make money. And that's when the least amount of mistakes happen as well. And also learning how to learn from your mistakes. When you make a mistake, learn from it so it never happens again. And that's how I've gained so much knowledge and experience myself is from learning from my mistakes because I know I'll never make that mistake again, whether it's buying from somewhere, trading with someone I shouldn't have, or whatever the case is. So I hope this video summarized some of the main things to avoid. Hopefully you guys don't have to make these same mistakes because it can be costly. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I will see you guys soon. Peace.